Greetings, my fellow normies. I hope you're all doing well today. We have another rumor, and I don't know what to take of it because it's about Michael B. Jordan yet again. I mean, we've had some rumors about him playing a black Superman. We've had her talk about making uh, being a black um, actor portraying... Um, um, Oh man, Green Lantern, and now they're talking about doing a live action static shock as producer will build a universe around black superheroes. <clears throat> I don't know how I really feel about this, but I'm tired of this race oriented bullshit and stuff. I'm just fucking just, just make a good fucking movie already and just do it. I don't need black characters and all that stuff you know what i'm saying i don't need race swapping of original characters being white or otherwise and you know what if you think that i'm being racist about it so be it but um i'm sick of this shit you know if you want to make black characters fine that you have the ability to do it and stuff like that but don't do it because you're going to be pc about it DC's live-action feature adaptation of Static Shock announced at Fandom picked up some all-star energy as Marvel actor moves over to Warner Brothers. A Hollywood reporter broke the news that Black Panther star Michael B. Jordan is joining the project as a producer. He will produce the original Hold Hold Holdalen through his Jordan's brother Warner Brothers-based banner, Outliner Society, whatever the fuck that is. Um, I'm proud to be a part of the building a new universe centered around black superheroes. Our community deserves that, um, said Jordan in a statement about his involvement. On his produ production label, he continued, Outlier Society is committed to bringing to life diverse comic book content across all platforms, and we're excited to partner with Reggie and Warner Brothers on this. Now, I have no problem with that. You want to make that? so be it I'm, I'm okay with it you know what i'm saying it's just like um black panther it was basically all black cast it was great i mean it's bad it sucks that the main character that plays black panther is now dead and stuff in real life and stuff i'm i'm really bummed about it because i was really looking forward to black panther 2 i don't know where that's going to go now because i really enjoyed i had my reservations because i don't know anything about black panther and stuff you know and i'm a normie too as well but um i really enjoyed it there was a lot of naysayers out there that people weren't going to go there because it was all black cast and all that i don't give a shit as long as it's done right i don't give two shits and neither does anybody else casting includes if jordan himself will be in it the plot details aren't forthcoming as of yet but development is active theatrical release is on the table Sagittarius movie is unveiled at DC Fandom during the Miles panel, Milestone panel. Black creator and print is being revived with Hoodland as partner and central figure. Hoodland is writing a new static digital comic out in February. And the graphic novel drawn by Kyle Baker, Icon, and Rockets are also getting relaunched in the series of Hoodland and Denny's Cowan and founder of Milestone. Teenager Virgil Hawkins, created by late Dwayne McDuffie, uh, turned superhero after a whiff of his strange gas gave him electromagnetic abilities. Hawkins' first appearance was in the inaugural issue of his book, Static, later adapted into Kids WB animated series, Static Shock, that connected to a larger DC animated universe. He guest starred in the episode of Justice League Unlimited, fighting alongside the team as well. The character made it into mainstream DC canon as of 2008. Michael B. Jordan, best known comic book movie credits are Killmonger in Black Panther and Johnny Storm in Fantastic Four. He also starred in the superhero Tinged Found Footage Thriller Chronicle. His credits also produce include legal drama, Just Mercy, and upcoming... Um, Amazon thriller without remorse and in production drama a journal for Jordan uh, Directed by Denzel Washington. So let me know what you think um, down below all that and um, we'll um, We'll go from there and see what um, What uh, what will come of this? I know that some people applaud this um, I have no problem with this and stuff as long as they're you know uh, black characters original 
But um, one thing I hope that he doesn't do, and I would like to remind Michael B. Jordan, that if he alienates White's viewers, the movies, no matter how good, will flop. Tyler Perry is really the sole name in black entertainment that has found success primarily through engagement with black audiences with the Medea movies. And I have to agree, you know what I'm saying? And stuff, I think that um, Tyler Perry, I think what he's doing, like what the Cosbys did, is like they're just trying to show black, black America that there's more to um, the stereotypes of some of the most bad things that come out of the inner cities and stuff like that um and all that um most other forms of media sports music etc don't fare well unless the white people flock over as well as evidenced by black panther which was made a billion dollars if they make quality media then the audience will have an easy time viewing but if they attempt to alienate well it'll be short-lived product all of this is before even discuss how difficult it can be to establish a, a new franchise. But you know what? All the power to them. You know what I'm saying? So, and the other thing too is, is you know, you have to pull in the white people. You can't rely on just black people. You got to remember that black people in the U.S. are only 13% of the population. Far less in Europe. You can't sell black films in Asia. They just don't like black people. They're racist. That's just the way it is. Nobody will say that or tell you that, but it's true. Look at how they sideline Finn in, in Star Wars. China, Japan, all of them, they're xenophobic and stuff. And yet, there's this big idea that everybody in the U.S. is, yet China is big time. They don't like black people. That's all there is to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but... Um, We'll see how this all goes, you know, but uh, let me know what you think uh, down below. Um, like, subscribe, and um, we'll be talking to you later. Bye.